Right. And what is the range for the all-electric part of the ELR? Yeah, similar to our other um, extended range electric vehicles. So I, we're not quite done with um, uh, all of our testing yet, but it'll probably be in the 37-ish uh, miles. So right. So a little less than the Volt because it's 38 right now. Yeah, one. Right. But so that was an engineering well, marvel. Let me tell we're you. We're looking at my difference. It was an engineer because <laughs> that coupe is beautiful, but I'll tell you, it's not. Quite as aerodynamic, but okay. you know, beauty wins. And um, so, coupe, beauty over. Coupe's a little heavier. Those um, 20 inch wheels and tires look great. They're um, actually a remarkable um, uh, rolling resistance for the size that they are, but they're not quite the same rolling resistance as uh, um, the tires on the Volt. So, I'm pretty darn proud of uh, that 37, is okay. what I would tell you. Okay, good and answer. Let me just share another factoid. So, the um, you know, we have about uh, 50,000 cars of, with that technology on the road today. 80% of the energy used by all, um, all those vehicles comes from the plug and not the pump. So that to me, so for the financial people in the room, you know, the battery is the most expensive component in the car. So to me, I, I think that's the right equation for good asset utilization. We have most people driving all electrically all the time. And then the beauty is you have that backup plan. Right. Yeah. So that's your, your way of solving range anxiety. Exactly, and that, that is the whole premise of the technology. It's you can be, you can be um, fully electric uh, most all the time, but no worries. If you wanted to take off and go to New York tomorrow, you wouldn't even have to think twice. Right, you wouldn't have to check out where the superchargers are, et cetera. Well, plan your trip. <laughs> you, you can pick the route of your choice. Right, okay.